Hey, this is Eternal Blue Flame, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to convert our old FMC models to the new Flans SMP Toolbox models. As you can see, there are some quite obvious errors with this model, and we'll be going over how to fix those as well, because the old models have a tendency to have boxes that are defined, but not actually used. So the first part is to find out the meaning of each of these numbers. Now, in this case, there is 0, 64, 128, 128. 0 and 64 define the texture positions X and Y. So in this case, we only have to define the 64 because it's already 0. The 128 by 128 defines the height and width of the actual texture as a whole. Why this has to be defined on every box, I don't know. I didn't design this. But, at any rate, to actually deal with this, there's the texture size X and the texture size Y under model settings. And that's all you have to change. Now, next, we need the actual size of the box. The first three on add box define the offset, which is almost never used because it changes the place of the rotation point, which none of the old models had animations, maybe like two or three, actually. The next three define the actual scale of the box. In this case, it's a width of 1, a height of 16, and a depth of 16. And then the last three define the actual position. So in this case, it's negative 23, 9, and negative 8. That doesn't seem right to me. That's because I already did this box. Well, don't I feel special here. Okay, so let's just move this over as if it's the next box. This is a very messy tutorial. It, every single iteration of it has been messy. I think I'm on my fifth now, and hopefully this one is the last. This one was messed up, though, when I originally implemented it, and I forgot to set the texture offset, so... Let's fix that now while we're here. Then the next part, which is going to be the same exact process. Let's mark which one we're actually on. Now, if you'll notice, each one is named box 1, 2, 3, 4, yada yada down the line. And that's not always actually the case. Some boxes, some actually have an array which is a little bit different to read, but it's the same exact procedure. And then we're going to be 14, 5, 8. The position is 8. Is it 3? That's a 3. Maybe I do need glasses. Okay. And one final part. Now, this one's a little bit different because there's a radian. In all models, there's... Well, in all models, even the new ones, the rotation of the model is always defined in radians. Now, this is only actually in the code. When you go in and actually make it, it has to be in degrees, and it converts that when you build the model. This is going to be longer than I anticipated for this recording. I need to get good. Alright, now, how to convert this to degrees to actually use in the editor. You know, there's a lot of complicated math you could do, or you could just put it into Bing, Google, or any other search engine and get the result. So we're setting the rotation Y to negative 180. And there's our part. Now there's clearly some bugs in here which will be even more obvious when we load the texture. So let's do that real quick. Uh, I use GameMaker for my texture editor because, well, I don't know. It's pretty much just what I've used for years and I'm just used to it. If you're used to GIMP, if you're used to Akrita, if you're used to Paint.net, just 
use whatever and be sure it actually supports alpha layering because if it doesn't support alpha layering it's not gonna work cough windows paint all right so here is the finished texture this bottom box has also got the wrong texture because it's set to negative one instead of ten so let's just fix that real quick and it looks right okay so there's these two parts that are clearly not on the model in the actual game so don't know why they're here but let's just get rid of them i swear those are on the actual model this little cube in the bottom center though that's not that that was a mistake on my part so let's just toss that and trust me you're going to make mistakes on this just just come to terms with that now oh it's this one i marked it how did i forget it was this one all right so we're gonna make a new cube we already i already know the width and depth and all that crap for this so that saves some time it's a flat six by six cube quick simple and to the point texture offset is going to be i think it was like 10 by 109 ish or something probably more than that i think yeah there now the issue is that this wheel has to rotate and if you notice by the little weird box here the rotation point isn't at the center and it will rotate like this and that's not how wheels work this kind of goes for all rotation points in general it has to rotate from the defined point for wheels it's just half of the height and width in inverse that's it simple easy to the point so let's get this into position and then let's clone it let's position the clone select the last one clone both of them position them select all four of the wheels we've created and mirror the parts left and right now we have wheels that are rotated from the center and are positioned now if you want to go the extra mile you can go in and change the texture on each one individually whatever else but more or less they all use the same texture if they're the same size that's the last of converting this model and we're good to go now um there are going to be some issues with some models related to the wheels because they're not positioned just right in this case all we have to do is let's see this is an example uh actually no this one is the example if you notice the wheels down here are separated because they're expected to be on a weird design cube but they actually need to be right next to each other so that way they go for one face of the cube and the other and that's all you have to do for each one quick simple to the point very little texture editing is required you don't even have to flip the textures like we originally thought now there are some weird cases for models that don't quite work as expected in this case model loco 3 as you notice the organization is completely different they're all side models it's because it's an array instead of individual variables the only real difference here is that the they're now defined by the index number instead of the name itself so just keep track of that index number and do the same exact procedure and you'll have yourself a converted model and that's it for this tutorial hope it helps